Hello YouTube, I'm Super Genki, and in today's video, I'm going to talk about me being back in Japan, because it's very interesting, very interesting. You see, I lived in Japan when I was a student for a year on study abroad, but now that I'm back here as a worker, as a worker bee, as a kaishain, almost, it's, it's very different very very different there's a lot less um freedom freedom not, i don't want to say freedom no i do want to say freedom a lot less freedom of what you can do because you have a lot of responsibility now i'm on the jet program right now and i love what i do like i it, it's great but um i can see how it can discourage some people because japanese work culture just in itself is very unique and it's very what's it called it's draining really it's, it's pretty draining I've been um I've been not waking up at five o'clock in the morning I've been waking up at like 6 30 and it's 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 I don't know how to explain it I don't know how to explain it it's just I'm really tired when I get back it's really weird and this was never a problem when I was back in America but now that I'm in Japan, it's becoming a little bit of a problem. Well, yeah, but I'll deal with it. I'll deal with it. But originally, I thought that everything was going to be the same. I thought that Japan, this place, was going to be the same as last time when I was a student. And my expectations for this country really, um, I, I suffered culture shock. Dude, I made a video about this. I said the culture shock wasn't real, but no, I suffered culture shock again because I live on a yama. I live on the top of a yama. A yama is a mountain. And I live on the top of the mountain and it's like, what, 20 minutes away from anything? And you know me, I mean, I like the gym. I like the gym a lot. And I gotta go to the gym in the mornings because I don't got time in the afternoons or after work or any of that stuff. And when I got here, when I moved here, there was a lot of paperwork. A lot of paperwork that I had to fill out that I did not have to fill out yesterday. Paperwork is my number one enemy. Like, it's my biggest weakness. Paperwork, oh, it kills me. But here I am in the Yama thinking to myself, how am I going to get to the gym? How am I going to do this? And what happened is I just, I chilled out. I went, I got to writing and then... I actually just bought some gym materials and brought them to my house, which is really cool because now I can work out every day whenever I want, basically, whenever I get home. But I did suffer some culture shock because my expectations were different. And that's what I want to say. If you're coming here to work in Japan, do not have the same expectations as coming here as like a student or coming here on a traveler's visa or anything like that. because. It's just a completely different experience. Completely different experience. Now, culture shock only lasted for like two hours for me, but it still happened. And it's important to know. It's important to know because you know what? I like the Genki life, but there are some times where I'm not Genki as well. And in those moments, it's the most important to really calm down, think, and grow. Anyway, YouTube, that's the video for right now. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.